There's a general order in the natural world. Things are born, they grow, then they die. That's the cycle of life. In this lesson, we'll ponder over the phases of a life and we'll ruminate over the predictive and adaptive meaning of life and the project life cycle. Living things progress through a series of different stages of development. Projects are initiated, they're carried out, then they're closed. Does this mean that a project has a life? It sure does. Just like in life, every project has a start and end point, and the activities that happen between those points can vary in complexity and duration. Like an acorn sprouting to become a sapling, then an oak, projects pass through sequential phases and each phase culminates in a milestone. In life and in a project life cycle, these phases are bound by time and they can be documented with a methodology. Some life cycles are predictive, like a kid who trains his whole life to be a Super Bowl winning quarterback. The outcome of the predictive life cycle is defined at the beginning of the life cycle and the activities performed during the life cycle are carefully managed in order to achieve the goal. Some life cycles are adaptive, like a kid who doesn't know what she wants to do, but she works hard at everything she does and ends up becoming the CEO of a large technology company. The outcome of the adaptive life cycle is developed over multiple iterations throughout the life cycle and is only defined before the next iteration begins. The project life cycle is a general, high-level view that a project manager might use when communicating the big picture objectives of the project to the various stakeholders. Whereas the processes are the actual activities that will have to be completed throughout the project. The project life cycle is a general, high-level view that a project manager might use when communicating the big picture objectives of the project to the various stakeholders. Whereas the processes are the actual activities that will have to be completed throughout the project. As in life, projects have a phase or multiple phases that can be divided into any number of logical sequences. These phases can be sequential, meaning when one phase ends, the next phase will begin, or they can overlap and the phase can start just before the previous phase is ending. The end of one phase is usually the start of the next phase. Although the elements of each phase may be different and distinct, each phase usually has similar characteristics. They all have their own focus, they achieve their own end and they close with some sort of milestone that's met or in a transfer into the next phase. The end of a phase usually serves as a natural point to reassess the activities that have been completed up until that point. In the past few years, new concepts referring to the adaptive project life cycle have been introduced. You may have heard of this being referred to as an agile methodology. This method is iterative and incremental, meaning that the project may go through repeated cycles and each cycle adds some sort of functionality, knowledge, or value to the project. When using the Agile methodology, the work on the next phase is being planned while working in the current phase. Think about it like this. A student may be currently going to a university to earn a Bachelor of Science degree in business but at the same time, they may be planning on going to a graduate school in order to receive an MBA. When a project is being completed in a dynamic and rapidly changing environment, this adaptive method is preferred. This methodology is especially preferred in the information technology industry because of the rapid changes in software and microchip development. Even though every life cycle must come to an end, a productive life cycle will have produced a deliverable that has met the objectives of the project. There is no single ideal structure or methodology that will work in all life cycles, but there are preferred practices and structures that can be adapted to create success in life and in a project life cycle.